Hi everyone, in this video is just to let you know that tomorrow I'm going to do an interview video uh, and it's regarding a combination project that uh, myself in Edinburgh and a photographer called Zeno in Glasgow have been working on for a company, uh, for a property company. So as you know, I do a lot of uh, property photos and the company DJ Alexander's has got uh, a bases in Edinburgh and in Glasgow, the two big cities in Scotland. Of course, you've got Aberdeen, Dundee and Perth and Inverness, but the two big ones in the borders. Not the borders, in the central belt. Um, and uh, the guys at DJ Alexander said to me, Dom, we're uh, changing our website so it's much more visual, much more imagery, much less text, and uh, we're wanting you to get a thing called neighbourhoods. So it's photos of the local areas, the, the local scene and uh, and stuff like that and uh, build it up so it's a bunch of photos for each area inside the city um, and uh, and just just get a whole bunch of stuff like that. So I was like, yeah, yeah, no problem, easy. Oh my goodness, was it easy, was it chuff? Uh, it, it actually became surprisingly difficult to make sure that you're constantly getting good, pleasant, images um, which don't have distractions or bin lorries or bins or or uh, or roadworks or stuff that isn't really necessary in the photo which uh, didn't detract from the actual images and um, but if you want to see just now you can go to djalexander.co.uk and in the like on their front page now their website's completely changed and it's all this kind of cool is this is really made for touch screen image uh, computer devices and uh, they, they've recently done a thing where they can do, where they've put a TV in their window in the Edinburgh office where you can actually just touch the window okay, so and you can use the website the uh, from the property area. We've got a big widescreen TV going on here. And if, even if you just touch the window, which is what we're doing just now, up comes the video. And I think there may be a way where if I click on that, I can go, boom. There's video on the TV, even though the TV is on the inside of the room. It's actually quite hard to see it in this light. But well, yeah, there you go. That's touchscreen TV through a 16mm glass window and showing off my videos. So now if I want to close that I can just go back to smaller screen go to search again the street, here. which is quite cool. And it's not even like it's cut into the glass, it's actually just a TV behind the, the window. It's very, very clever technology. Um, so if you want to have a look, uh, so tomorrow I'll, what I'll be doing is I'll be discussing with uh, Zeno uh, he did the Glasgow neighbourhood. So with the guys at DJ Alexander says, Dom, who would you recommend in Glasgow that could get these types of photos? I was like, I only know one guy that's awesome. Um, and that was Zeno. And I'll put a link to his stuff down below. Because he hasn't told me exactly. No, he hasn't told me about it yet. So I'll put the link to his stuff in the description down below. But you can also see his images that he got for Glasgow. And there is definitely a different feel from Glasgow to the Edinburgh images. What I will also make a little disclaimer is that they're not all my images and they're not all Zeno's images, I think. I think they got a couple of extra kind of certain types of shots uh, going on there. But uh, Zeno's are the Glasgow Edinburgh, uh, the Glasgow shots. And they've got all the different uh, areas in Glasgow, Bears Inn, Kelvin Grove, all that kind of stuff. And this one at Partick, I'm sure I saw that in like a bigger like TV documentary talking about places in, in, in Glasgow. So maybe he's been using his uh, images elsewhere. So that's quite cool. And uh, if you go back to images, you go to Nate. And the funny thing is, although these are my images, so many of them I don't recognise because I'm just going, did I take that? When did I take that? Oh, because we did, we've been doing it for about the last four or five months during winter time and during bad weather and, and good weather. And uh, and some of them are more historical photos that we got maybe like before we even got the actual, uh, the actual gig to do it. But a lot of the times also, 
the websites have cropped it or changed the, the size of the photos or changed even the sharp, there's a lot of sharpening going on. Um, which uh, I'm kind of going, is that my photo? Can't, can't even recognise it, but I do remember that one. That's in a place in Edinburgh. Uh, and if I click on the Edinburgh neighbourhoods, um, so there, I'm looking at that going, what? that is the Edinburgh Royal Observatory. Did I get that? And I'm having to actually check in my Dropbox uh, to see if these are actually my photos. But I was like, yes, this is, because there's one here and there's Kim. I've got, a, I took a photo of Kim down at the, the Leith, uh, Leith and the Shore um, part of, of Glasgow. There's also some funny sort of fading going on. I wonder if that was added, because I don't remember adding that in. But uh, but there's Kim uh, walking down, down to Leith. Uh, we were just down there one day, I thought I'll take the camera and those photos I use uh, for down there. And uh, there's a couple of shots, like, I think pretty much all the, these ones down at Leith. Ooh, there's a couple which you might notice as well going, ah, oh, Dom's photoshopped a sky in there. Uh, so that one, yeah, that's a photoshopped sky. That one is somebody else's photos, I think. I don't remember taking that one. Um, but uh, there, there's definitely, there's a couple of shots like Barnton, I don't remember. T I may have, like, no, some of these, that, yeah, I can see straight away from there's certain shots which are definitely not my style. Mine are a bit more brighter, certainly a lot of uh, details filled in in the shadow areas. Um, going on, but then what I didn't do, I didn't do any kind of into the shops kind of shots. So there's obviously been somebody else doing inside the shops. That's a really old one of mine from yonks ago underneath the bridge. I'm surprised to use that because it's quite a dark, morbid one uh, with a bit, little bit of graffiti on it. So I thought, oh, I don't think they would want to use that. But they've they've gone on and showed it there, um, and there's so much are serious HDR going on there. I think is that my one. Was that when it was on the roof of a certain building somewhere? It, it's funny, I don't, did I take that one? I, I don't think I took that one. Uh, I think a lot of these, certainly where, yeah, this one is confusing. Oh, super kind of HDR or something going on on there. But uh, I have taken that photo, but is that my photo? Hold on. So this one is uh, in an area called uh, the Old Town. And that is in the Scottish National Museum. Hold on, I'll have to check Old Town. Grass Market in Old Town. Uh, do I have that photo? No, so that's obviously... Oh, well. Yes, so that's my photo there. That's what I've got. And... Yeah, so there's obviously... I, I don't know whether it's the website just automatically doing a whole bunch of sharpening and exposure changing, or maybe they've had somebody else in the background uh, editing it so it's better for uh, the website. But uh, yeah, I think that one, I think that one's definitely mine. I've definitely got that one there. Yeah, old guy looking down there, old guy down there. So totally change of colour. So again, they may have had somebody else, I, I take the shots, maybe somebody else did the, the editing uh, of the photos for for the actual website. Um, but yeah, have a look there, and tomorrow I will be having a chat with Zeno himself, so you can hear both our sides of the stories of what he found challenging in Glasgow and what I found challenging in Edinburgh. And for something which sounds so easy, go around, take nice photos, what the difficulties actually were. So uh, maybe it'll be a live stream tomorrow? I don't know, I'll figure that out. Cheers, bye-bye.